But our guy looks like he's finally got it loaded up. And he's ready to roll. And he's coming back down. Why? I guess maybe he didn't like something. He's just going to double check. Backed up just a few feet. And he's going to finish one check it on. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Wavy Boats. And it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today we are visiting Black Point, and it looks like our guy has it where he wants it now. But those tires are in a wet spot, and it can be slick right here. Uh, bro, you're in reverse. Where are you going? Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Is Black Point going to swallow another one? I mean, he is axle deep. What is he doing? He's trying to get it back out. Water's flying. Oh my gosh, he's going to pull it out. I thought for sure we were seeing another one go down. Oh my. Holy crow. That was a close call. I don't know that I've seen a truck being able to pull back out like that here at Black Point. It gets so slick. When your tires get wet, it is tough. I don't... Man. My guy got about as lucky as you can get down here at Black Point. And here comes our captain, heading in on the dock, coming in a little hot with some erratic movements. Oh man, this one could be interesting watching him get on the dock. I mean, I can't tell if he's had a few too many at the sandbar and that's why we're going everywhere like this or what the deal is. He's making his turn on the dock though, coming in a little hot. Is Cap gonna prove me wrong? My man docks it like a glove, oh my. I thought for sure this one was going to get out of hand. And Cap just crushes it and completely just puts me in my place. Ah, man. Good job, Cap. And here comes our crew on the Rabalo, making their first attempt in on the dock. So Cap's taking it easy. We've got our guy on the bow line. Getting close. We go for the reach. We got a couple fingers on the pole, but now the bow is going to kick out. Can we get it hooked? Does he go for the toss? He looks at Cap, and it looks like Cap told him no. So our guy was going to go for the toss, but he looked back for, to the captain for instruction, and it looked like the captain was like, hold on. So I'm assuming Cap's going to back out. We're going to have to give this one a second attempt. Here we go, attempt number two. Rabalo heading back in. And Cap once again brake checks, and as soon as he does, same situation as the first time. We get that bow kicking off. He probably should have took that line toss from the first attempt and let my man pull him in. But we're gonna have to try this a third time. And third time is typically the charm down here at Black Point, and let's see how it fares. We got one hand, two hands on the pole. Cap's going to go over and try and keep the boat from hitting the corner of the dock. But same situation again. They kicked the bow out. And there, oh, misses the dock toss. There we go. Line toss number two lands it. And third time is the charm. Our crew will get it on. Our crew's stuck on the ramp. They're trying to get out. But they are spinning tires. And this one shows you how lucky our guy earlier was. My man's tires are dry and he can't get up. That guy who sunk it to the axle back at the beginning, I mean, 
<laughs> He's lucky. Oh my gosh. That is probably the closest call I've seen here at Black Point that didn't end in disaster. Our guy's going to try and get a little bit of a running start, back it up a little bit. They'll get over the hump, and on the second attempt, able to get it out. Our crew's making their approach on the dock. I hate seeing things like this on the stern or on the side of the boat, especially if somebody's trying to work in it. It's just one of the, another item for you to trip over. So our guy in the stern has the boat hook. Cap's trying to get him in on the dock. Got a line in hand. He almost goes in. Oh, he almost goes in. One foot, he kicks it off the dock. Now you gotta grab, take the boat hook, bro. Try and grab the pole. And quick reaction time gets him back over. We did get somebody off in the bow of the line, but man, our guy almost took a swim on that one. And our crew is trying to load the trailer being pulled by the Volvo, and they've backed this trailer way too deep. So Cap's going to come over here and try and assist, but basically everybody in the dock's going to have to try and hold it over the trailer because they can't get any grip because the trailer's too deep. The bunks are underneath the boat. In other words, the bunk's not, not going to give the boat any support to try and line it up. Here you see Cap's gonna try and bring it up, but as you can tell, it is literally just floating, and these guys are gonna have to hold it over, which typically can lead to some funky loads. I'm more curious about this Volvo trying to pull this thing out, though. I'm guessing it's probably front wheel drive, so probably won't have an issue, but that is just an interesting tow vehicle choice. So after a little bit of time, our crew does get it hovered over the trailer. Let's see if the Volvo gets it out. Here we go with the pole. And actually it loaded pretty straight as well. And our crew, it appears, is going to be good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Holliver, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.